Hello, my name is Gary Walker, and this is Nothing Left Over, professional cooking secrets from buyhappier.com. Now I'm going to show you how to make a spiced chocolate cake with a pomegranate caramel sauce. The ingredients for the cake are really simple. We're using some eggs, sugar, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, butter, and some chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet today. You can use bittersweet chocolate if you want, if you want a little bit more of a darker flavor, but I wouldn't use unsweetened chocolate. You want to have a little bit of sugar in there. For the spices, we have ground cardamom, allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper. That'll add just a really wonderful depth of flavor to the cake. The sauce for the cake is a pomegranate caramel sauce. So we're of course we're starting with sugar and water, which is your typical starting for caramel. We have some dark corn syrup, some pomegranate juice, a little bit of lemon juice, butter, and the seeds of the pomegranate as a garnish. Let me show you how to make the cake. We're going to have to heat the oven to 375 degrees. The equipment we're going to be using today will be our Calphalon Springform Pan. This is a wonderful piece of equipment to have, again, in your arsenal. It provides wonderful even heating, so you won't have any brown spots in your cooking. Uh, easy, retractable latch right there and we're gonna put it on top of our Cafalon sheet tray just to keep everything nice and clean. To start the recipe, you wanna get a pot of, a uh, little pot of boiling water. We're basically doing like a water bath or a double boil. So we're gonna put our bowl over the pot, nice and simmering. Control the heat, you don't want it too, too hot. We're gonna add our chocolate and our butter. And you just want to basically melt. This will take about three to five minutes. So. The goal is to get this nice and glossy and smooth. Get it all melted. Now that the chocolate and butter is nicely melted and smooth, we're going to cut off the heat and proceed with the rest of the recipe. Next step, whisk in your sugar. Just want to whisk it till it's smooth. Then you want to add in your eggs one at a time incorporating each egg as you go along. And our third egg. After you've incorporated the last egg, the vanilla extract, whisk that in. And now we're gonna add our spices. We have our cocoa powder and we have our spices. I'm just going to combine those like that. And with my whisk, I'm just going to just give this a little stir in here. You could sift it also, but I'm just going to do this right over the pot just to get out the lumps and go right in. You don't want to over mix at this point because you'll make a mess. Just incorporate a little bit more. And go right into your pan. Using a spatula to get out all of the yummy goodness. Gonna shake it around. And it's ready to go in the oven. It should bake about 20 to 25 minutes. 
Now we're gonna work on our pomegranate caramel sauce. You'll need some sugar, some water, pomegranate juice. I'm using the seeds as a garnish at the end. Some dark brown corn syrup, lemon juice, and two tablespoons of butter. Let's get started. We're gonna set our two quart Cafalon pot to a medium heat. We're gonna add in the sugar and the water. We're gonna add in the corn syrup. This helps stabilize the caramel. And some lemon juice, about two tablespoons. Minus the seeds. Give this a little stir. As this is the only time you can stir your caramel. Now, you just have to wait. We're going to bring this to a boil. We're gonna turn the heat down. And we're gonna allow it to just caramelize, hence the name caramel. It should take about three to five minutes. This Cafalon sauce pot is completely perfect for making caramel. Nothing will stick to it. The construction of the pot promotes even heating. It's a really great piece of equipment to have. All right, so our, our water, sugar, lemon juice, corn syrup has been boiling on the stove uh, for a few minutes now, and so it's, now it's gotten to a really wonderful caramel color. I'm gonna cut the heat. I'm gonna add in half a cup of pomegranate juice and two tablespoons of cold butter. And with my Teflon whisk, my nonstick whisk, I'm gonna whisk it in. Then we're gonna bring it back to the heat. And just keep stirring until incorporated. And we're gonna cook this for another five minutes. Basically, you just want this to get really nice and syrupy. Basically, it's done when it just sort of bounces to the touch. Look how that bounces. So I'm gonna cut the heat on the sauce and I'm gonna add in pomegranate seeds. And we go into a heat proof container for it to cool. Pomegranate caramel sauce. So I'm going to garnish the cake today with a little vanilla ice cream. You can certainly just use powdered sugar or some cocoa powder and of course finish it with this lovely sauce we made. Mm. So nice. The spices really sing through. The pomegranate, a perfect compliment. What a wonderful cake. I hope you enjoy it. And so there is the recipe for our spiced chocolate cake with a pomegranate caramel sauce. I don't know about you, but when I make this cake, there certainly is nothing left over. <laughs>